So I'm going to show you how you can create labels in Google Sheets using an add-on. So first we need to get the add-on. So we're going to go up in within Google Sheets and we're going to go to Extensions. Click on Extensions and go to Add-ons and Get Add-ons. In the marketplace here, you're going to search for Create and Print Labels. Once you see that, you're going to see this Create and Print Labels over here to the left and you're going to click on that. Then you have the ability to install it, so click on Install. If you don't have the ability to install it, then you probably clicked on the wrong one. So go ahead and click Install, and it needs permission, so you're going to continue. You're going to log in, and you're going to give it all the permission that it needs. Okay, so now it's done and I can close this tab. So now I'm ready to go ahead and use my add-on. So this is my test document that I'm going to use and I'm going to go up to extensions and now you're going to see down here I have an add-on create and print labels. Okay so I'm going to click create labels and now this box pops up to the on the right hand side. What we're going to do is first we're going to select our merge field. So, or first we're going to actually select which kind of uh, label we want. And I want to use uh, this 5160, or you could use 51. Let's use 5159, which is a, a simple address label. So we're going to click and use that. And now I'm going to select a merge field. So if I want um, the first name first, I'm going to select first name. It's going to add that in there. If I want a space between it, I'm going to click beside it and leave a space. And now I'm going to select another merge field. And so I want to use the last name. And then maybe I want to do a hard write or a hard return and put underneath the student ID number. So I'm going to select that merge field and I'm going to find the student ID number. And now I'm ready to create the labels. Now something about this, for the free version of it, you can only print the first 50 labels. Um, so in Classroom, I don't feel like you would be printing more than 50 at a time. So you could use this relatively easy. So now I'm ready to create labels. And it's going to ask me about upgrading. Um, and so again, right here is where it says you have a free account, which allows you to print only the first 50 labels. And so I'm ready. I'm going to say no thanks. And I want to just print the first 50 labels. So now it wants me to open a document or create a new document. So I'm going to open a document here. It's actually going to create one for it. And I could label that for my class list. So I could just change it. I change it to class list 2022 and then I'm ready to print this label sheet out. Now that you have your label add-on installed, you can go inside a Google Doc and you can create a template for you to type in individual labels. So if I go to the add-ons in Docs, I should see my create and print labels and I'm going to go to create labels. So once I click on create labels, this label maker box opens up to the side and if I wanted to use a spreadsheet, I would do it here, but I'm not going to do that. I want to select a template. So I want to use this 5160 template and I'm going to click use. So now what that does is that makes a template for me. And so now I can individually type in here individually what I want on the labels. And now my labels are ready for me to print. So now all I have to do is go to File and print my labels and pick them up at the copier.